to moan. say we got over before he'll do it again he'll do it again he'll do it again the Lord will fight our bats he did it before he'll do it again he did it for Martin he did it for Harriet Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. We shall overcome. fellowship afternoon service hallelujah where the chief apostle is apostle joseph l prove yeah and we're here to worship the lord god almighty the lord mighty in battle we serve a big god he's bigger than all of this he's bigger than you he's bigger than me he's bigger than trump he's bigger than hate he's bigger than fear He's big, he's big, he's big, he's greater, greater than anything, greater than everything. Our God is big. Huh. Come on. A big guy, a big guy. Come on, right where y'all wave your hands, give them a wave offering. Praise the Lord, make some noise. Our God. 
gonna turn it around. 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 Turn it Hallelujah. He has not forgotten and trust. He sees all. Hallelujah. 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 God was just stirring some things up in my spirit and reminding me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That he is not like ordinary man that makes promises and does not keep them. God does not lie. If he said it, he's going to do it. Even if it doesn't look like it, hallelujah. He's behind the scenes doing stuff that we cannot see. Hallelujah. So don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. Don't faint. Hallelujah. Be not weary and well-doing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't give up. Hallelujah. 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 I heard the Lord say, Israel song, No, I'm not a man. I cannot lie. I want you to know my design. So I'm asking you to hold again and believe again and take the limits off of me he said no I'm not a man I cannot lie, but I know my design, and it's you, so I'm asking you to hope again, and trust again. Take the limits off of me. The Lord wants us to take the limits off. Take the limits off. He said, believe me. Trust my word and take the limits off. Take the limits off. Believe me. Believe me. Take the limits off. Take the limits off of me, the Lord said. Take the limits off. Believe me, release me, believe me, and let me do what I want to do. Take the limits off, take the limits off, take the limits off, take the limits off. Take the limits off.
Just release, release, just release, release. Take the limits off, release, 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 release. Let me have my way in you, release me. Just believe me, really. Just believe me, really. Just believe, really. Just believe, really. Just believe, really. Just believe, really. And really. Just receive, receive, just receive, receive, so you can conceive me, receive, conceive, receive, conceive, 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 Just hear me, just hear me, just hear me, just hear me, just hear me. Prepare for the increase, increase in 
prepare for the increase. Prepare for the increase. Prepare for increase. Stretch forth, stretch forth. Prepare for increase. Stretch forth, in the great church, in our lives, in our hearts. Prepare for increase. Break forth, break in your life. Prepare, prepare, stretch forth, stretch forth. Prepare for increase. Break in your heart. Prepare, prepare, stretch forth, stretch forth. Prepare for increase. Break forth, break in your ministry. Coming out, coming out, coming out, coming out. I say to you, coming out, coming out, coming out. In your ministry, you're coming out, coming out, coming out. Nothing can stop us. Nothing can stop us. We are that iron tribe. Nothing can stop us. Nothing can stop us. Nothing can stop us. Nothing can stop us. Say nothing can stop us. We are that iron tribe. Nothing can stop us. 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 
Nothing can stop us. Nothing can stop us. Nothing can stop us. Nothing can stop us. Nothing can stop us. We are the lion tribe. We are the lion tribe. One more time. Nothing can stop us. 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 We are the lion tribe. 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 We got blood type Jesus. I don't know about that A positive, B negative, B negative, whatever that is. All I know is I got the blood of Jesus running through my veins. Hey, running through my veins. Hey, yeah, I got the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Hey, running through my veins. Running through my veins. I got the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Running through my veins, running through my veins. That is the blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Running through my veins, running through my veins. The blood, the blood, the blood, blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. It was the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. It was the blood, the blood, the blood. Hey, that's the answer. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. The blood, 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 the blood. Coronavirus ain't got nothing on us. Cause we got the remedy. Yeah. It's called the blood of Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The blood of Jesus. We got the antidote. We got the antidote. We got the antidote. Ooh, every addiction, we got it, we got it, we got it. We got the antidote. Jesus is the antidote. Jesus is. Jesus is the antidote to every problem, every addiction, every demon. Spirit, Jesus is the antidote. Jesus is my antidote. Yes, he is. I don't need anybody else to make me high. I don't need any other substance. Because Jesus is my antidote. Jesus is my high. High. Jesus is my high. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 I just want y'all to right now just get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready for that rhema word. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. I just want to say thank you, Lord. Can we say thank you, Lord? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Still in the land of the living. Hallelujah. Still pressing on. No matter what comes our way. Hallelujah. And I hear the Lord say, justice will be done. In the name of George Floyd. I hear the Lord say somebody struck a match yeah. hallelujah and this time will be different this time things just won't be the same this time things will be different and it won't be the same no more useless murder no more no more no more I hear the spirit of the Lord says enough is enough 
enough, it's enough, it's enough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if you just fix your spirit to say, it's over now, it's over now, it's over now, it's over now, it's over now. The storm is over now, it's over now, it's over now, it's over now. I hear the Lord say, it's over now, it's over now, it's over now, it's over now. You've been waiting, but it's over now. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With no more further ado, I bring to you and present to you an awesome woman of God. I call to you, Dr. Lenise Reynolds. Hallelujah. The apostle, the prophet, the minister, the motivator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it, sis. Bring it. Steve. I heard the Lord say, this is the house at Beth Meon, a house of my dwelling place. For the Lord says, I'm releasing over the house today, the breaker anointing. For today I come to break for those that will receive. So the Lord says, let me dwell in you. My house, oh house of Beth Neon, says the spirit of the living God. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Wow. I just want to give honor to our chief apostle. Thank you, chief apostle. Love you, dad. Mom, I think we're going to have to put some... Um, angelic angels on you man she looking like a million zillion dollars ain't she <laughs> mom looking good dad i give honor apostle sandra in the house on today god bless you let's bless let's bless god for apostle sandra hallelujah yes apostle sandra mom 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 now dad he's gonna look at you today and go wow 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 you know he go wow 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 <laughs> yeah and also, I want to give honor to all the pastors in the house, our youth pastor, Pastor Foy, all the other pastors, the prophets, hallelujah, all the elders in the house, elder fleshers, all the apostles in the house, Apostle Denise, Apostle uh, Robbie, all the different apostles. I don't want to forget anybody, Lord. Oh, Apostle She Rises over there. Yes, Lord God. Prophet Eric. <laughs> All the prophet Eric's, <laughs> prophet <laughs> Stephanie, and the musicians, man. We have an awesome musician team, don't we? Wow. And also, those of you who are visiting with us, who tuned in with us, the New Hope family that's here, and those of you who have tuned in, thank you for coming in with us today. We tell you that you tuned in at the right time. God loves you, and we bless you for being with us on today. And also, I want to bless, I think he's running around. Oh, there you go. My hubby. <laughs> Prophet Chris Reynolds. Bless you, baby. Amen. Luke 4, 12 through 13. Luke chapter 4, 12 through 13. And it reads, And Jesus answered, said unto them, It said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And when the devil had ended all the temptation, he departed from him for a season. Father, thank you for the word. Let it bring revelation and light, understanding. God, I'm just here. I'm not here to perform. I'm just your oracle, the sent one. So Father, use me, Lord God. Help me focus in on what you're saying and tune in, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for your sheep being blessed, those in the house and those outside the house, God. Allow us, God, to get out this cycle of destruction. 
We thank you, Lord, for your word in Jesus' name. Amen. This is a very familiar passage of scripture. The enemy in chapter 4 of Luke, he did all he could to try to tempt Jesus on a many different accounts. Think about it for a second. He was trying to tempt Jesus. <laughs> that, that messed me up right there. And if you look at this scripture, if you go back up into chapter 4, I'm just moving around. I'll be kind of moving from Luke 4, from verses 1 through 20, just kind of emphasizing a few, few things. <clears throat> Jesus had just been baptized by John the Baptist. So he's coming full of the Holy Ghost, according to chapter, chapter 4, verse 1. He's full of the Holy Ghost. I got to be still, uh, Pastor Foy. I'm a walker like you. It's hard. God, Leo. Thank you, Jesus. I can do it. <laughs> I'm going to teach, then be still, all right? Be still and know that I'm God. All right. And so anyway, Jesus had just came down from being baptized. He was full of the Holy Ghost, according to verse one, full of the Holy Ghost. So he was already filled. Remember that. And if you look down in verse three of chapter four, it says, and the devil said unto him, if thou be the son of God, command this stone that is made into bread. And Jesus said, it is written. <laughs> Come on, somebody. <laughs> That man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. The devil was trying to tempt Jesus. Come on. Because he knew he was hungry. He had been on a fast, fasting for 40 days. He tried to tempt him with food. Jesus is like, I'm already trained in my regenerated spirit. <laughs> I live off my spirit, not off of food. Because I have the bread of life already inside of me. Glory to God. So he tried to tempt him. With what we call hedicism, which is pleasure in food. But Jesus had already passed that test. Come on, somebody. Then if you go down and look in Luke 4, 6 and 7, it says, And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee. Come on, somebody. <laughs> and the glory of them, for the devil is for, for that is delivered unto me, and to whoever and whosoever I will give it, if thou therefore will worship me. All shall be thine. Now the enemy's trying to get Jesus to worship him. <laughs> this is what Jesus, Jesus is like, look, okay? And Jesus answered and sent it to him in verse 8. Man, get out of here with that. <laughs> get thee behind me, Satan. For it is written, thou shalt only worship the Lord thy God. In other words, he was saying, I'm not going to worship you. You're going to worship me. He was trying to get on with something called egoism. He wanted them to try to prove something that he already had. Come on, somebody. Never try to prove something you already have. I heard Dad Prue say a few days ago, you, won't, you can't test or try to prove something, but when you have a relationship with God, your relationship with God proves on its own. Somebody might be quicker, faster than you, but the, your relationship with God speaks for itself. Come on, somebody. <laughs> so he was trying to tempt him with the pride of life. Jesus already overcame that. Yes. Then he went down in verse 9, and he, he was started talking again, and he brought him to Jer Jerusalem and set him on a pinnacle of the temple, the devil did. And he said to him, If thou be the son of God, Cast thyself from hence. <laughs> That's crazy to me. He literally was like almost like he wanted Jesus to commit suicide or something. You know what I mean? Come on, this is Jesus. Jesus yeah, exactly. Come on, somebody. Jesus, listen, Jesus could have did what he wanted to do, but Jesus once again had nothing to prove. He just let him think what he wanted to think. And Jesus said in verse 10, for it is written. He shall give his angels charge over thee. And in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest thee stomp their foot against a stone. And Jesus answered them and said, Thou shall not tempt the Lord thy God. He's trying to help him get a revelation. I'm trying to talk to you, but you're still trying to tempt me. <laughs> this is a very interesting passage of scripture. 
Because if you really look at this and you study it, you see where he tried to tempt Jesus three times. But the thing that's very, very interesting when I was looking at this and studying this, one of my friends, we just like talking about the scriptures. We started talking. and She pointed something out to me I never saw before. She said, Lenise, if you notice in the scripture, we start talking about this passage a while back. She said, he, Jesus kept coming back saying it's written. We all know that. But if you look down in the scripture, Jesus eventually got tired and said, it is said. Catch that. He went from written to said. Genesis, in the beginning, God created the heavens. And in the beginning, God said. Let me tell you something. The Holy Spirit is the highest ranker in your life. What the Holy Spirit say, that's what it is. Come on, somebody. Second is the scriptures. So Jesus, see, the devil knew the scriptures. He already knew the scriptures. So he was just trying to hit him with something he already knew. But Jesus said, my father, God said. Come on, somebody. In the beginning, God said. Hallelujah. That should get you pretty excited right there. At least it did for me. <laughs> Come on, somebody. So he went from, when I was reading this, I just got mad. <laughs> he went from saying so much, and Jesus kept saying it's written, but God, pulled, Jesus pulled rank and said, God said it's said. Hallelujah. Always remember this. The highest ranking individuals, the Holy Spirit one, the written scriptures two, and the set man or woman of God in your life is three. If you remember those things and keep accountable in those three areas, you will spare yourself a lot of hurt and disappointment. And if you don't believe me, it's in the word. And if you don't believe me, again, get the rules and tools of a revelator. It talks about that, I think, somewhere around chapter five or six. <laughs> Come on, somebody. So listen, due to the pandemic, we can correlate this position to what's going on Jesus was in the wilderness don't it sound familiar we in the wilderness <laughs> when he said he was led in by the spirit he was implying that he was led by this he went into the wilderness himself nobody the devil didn't tempt him to go to the wilderness he went in because now you know what I think Jesus was like let me test this thing out Amongst a lot of other things, he wanted some time apart because after that, he did the greatest things, miracles that he ever did. His ministry took off. He took some time to be alone. What are you doing during this time? Come on, somebody. For the last three months, I just been like, Lord, me and my husband, when we've been praying, we've been asking God, what are you saying, Lord? There's something you're trying to get. And then I remember even hearing the Lord say,